Hello there, and welcome to Professional Netminding, BA, Professional Netminder. So, we have the Colorado Avalanche here, who are 22nd in the league. Simulation has not been very nice to us. Uh, we are 78 overall, though, which is not bad, considering this is only year two. So, we're on the move, for sure. Our GAA is not great. Same with our save percentage, but that's a work in progress. Hopefully, the simulation engine can chill a bit. We have a floating hand inside our sleeve there. That's amazing, and I love to see that. Okay, allow me to see... Um, yeah, we can't really buy a whole lot, so I'll just leave that for now. Well, yeah, um, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lines again, just because I like to do that at the beginning of every episode. So we got Nuge, McDusty, and Poljarvi. Team pretty much looks the same, okay? So I'm not really going to, you know, go over this for too long here. Uh, defense, there we have it. Yes, sir. And in net, we've got TJ and Pavel, who I think is also not doing too good right now. Yeah, he has four wins in nine games and an 894-301. So both goalies not playing outstanding. But somehow, we are still 15-10-3. and three. Um, And that's good enough for ninth in the league. So let's see if the Colorado game here is worth jumping into or not. Hopefully it is. First period. All right, that's a good start. Second, E. Come on, dude. Four goals on 22 shots. I'm not getting a 900. There's just simply no way. The simulation engine hates me. But also, I am 78 overall. I do got to keep that into account. But uh, yeah, let's jump in. Lots of X-Factors and abilities on this Avalanche squadron. And, you know, a few on our team as well. Can't say that we have none, that's for sure. I mean, I have one, but it doesn't really do a whole lot or mean anything. I'm assuming that their abilities probably help out a fair amount more than mine does. Nice shot, McDusty. Blomqvist will save that. Hammerhead's legend. I'm just kidding. I don't even know if it's the same guy or not. Um, ours might just be like a generated player. Theirs might just be a generated player. I have no clue. If it is a real goalie, I don't think I've ever heard of him. But yeah, he's on our AHL team in Houston. At least as of when I'm recording this, maybe he'll be gone. But wow, Taves just got dropped. He folded on the ice like a taco. That was ridiculous. McDavid, he's out to play right now. Look at this guy go. He's hustling out there. New hook. Here comes Alex. He's up the ice. And he goes to do something. I'm not too sure what he tried to do there with it. I'm playing way too aggressively. I got to back up a bit. Coming out of the crease way too far. Plyarvi. Oh, man. That was risky business. And he almost had it picked off too. But McDavid will stop up. Give it back to Yessi. Who just loses it to McCarr. Okay, well, let's kill McCarr. Fair enough. Not a whole lot you could have done there. If you score while Makar's out, then that's just a big old congratulations. Actually, I'm not really sure if Makar is super good defensively. I know that he is an offensive machine, but I'm not really sure how he is on the other end of things. Which is, you know, kind of funny considering he is a defenseman after all. But, um, I don't know if anyone is a big Colorado fan in the comments. Let me know. What are your honest opinions about him? From a defensive perspective of the game. Yost, who I believe is no longer on this team. I just mentioned that in another video too. That might have been a GM mode. Because I think we took on Colorado in uh, Houston as well. But yeah, I can't remember where he went to. But I'm pretty positive that he is no longer a part of the Colorado Avalanche. Maltsev. Oh no, if he batted that in, I would have been fuming. Absolutely fuming, but he didn't. So I'm not angry just yet. Okay, let's maybe not give the puck up right in front of the net. Just an idea. You know, I'm just spitballing here. Oh no, they get another chance. Yost, download a Ranton in. Save that as well. Oh my word. We are getting dominated at the moment. Okay, don't hug the post. Yes! I don't even know how that man. It, like, did we poke it off the defender? I wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy. Getting ready and anticipating a shot. But yeah, I think that maybe we just poked it off the defender. Which was good enough to get it over the blue line, baby. That's all we had to do. Hyman. He's in. And he is going to get... What a legend! Look at this guy battling through. I thought I was going to say he got knocked off the puck, but he most certainly did not. I think I am like starting to be too aggressive, though. Like I'm coming out this far for a shot to the left. And that just completely leaves that whole side open. And getting over is not going to be... An easy task, so I gotta 
try to play back in the net at least a little bit here. Because that way I have time to react for cross crease and just, you know, have more time to react to the initial shot as well. If I'm out that far, I mean, sure, I'm cutting off the angle, but that's about all I'm doing. Amazing. Thanks for the uh, help in front of the net there, defense. Oh, did you own goal? Maybe he did. It zoomed in on him. Now I'm curious. I gotta go see it. Instant replay me. Let's go back. And so I save the initial shot. It goes off the twig. Comes up. I try to get across. And yep, he owned gold. This time it wasn't dry sidle. It was Goligoski. And with that, the Avs are now winning 5-3. to three. Awesome. We have two goals to make up for. And I feel like we haven't been generating a lot of offense so far in this one. So things are looking not great, to put it bluntly. Make a save there. Up close and personal. Tyler Ennis. Nice pass. Look at that. He stops up, finds Bouchard, just streaking up the middle. You love to see that kind of hockey. That is textbook. All right, Kale, let's see what you got. Oh, don't got a whole lot, apparently. That shot will be blocked. I, is, have I seen McKinnon and Rantanen? I've seen Ranta. And I've seen Newhook, I've seen Makar, but I guess they have to be on the team, right? Because they were there during the, the pre-screen where it shows the X-Factors and whatnot. So, I, I feel like they are on this team. I just haven't really seen them. Actually, I, I made a save on Rantanen earlier, if I remember correctly. But maybe that was Ranta and I'm just mixing it up. No! What a shot, too. But just wide of the net. Goes off the post. Goalie had no clue where it was. McDavid. Ooh. That was weird. Puck just shot back to the D. All right, boys, come on. Poyarvi. Yeah, love to see it. Nice. The rebound. He just couldn't quite pick it up on time. See, that's how you defend. Their guy had McDavid all tied up. He couldn't do anything. That would be nice. Rantanen. Oh, Maltsev. Oh, no. Don't like it. Yost. He, like, reached around for that one. That would have been a nice goal. He literally would have tucked it right past me. But luckily he hit the post, or the side of the net, I'm not too sure. Didn't see exactly. So I don't want to lie to you guys, you know? Barry, he gets an awful pass from Dreisaitl at the point. Not a whole lot he could have done there. I mean, he probably could have just instantly shot it and hoped for the best. He did not do that. Ooh, okay, we are getting some good chances here, but scoring, not so much. We've only got about a minute 40 left here. In this contest, we're down by two, so we need to get something going quick. That's a nice chance. Their defense completely took the pass away there, which again, that would be splendid. Oh, empty net, so I guess they have officially yanked me, and I can't even move the camera. This is awesome. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm still trying to <laughs> figure out these PlayStation controllers. Anyway, Nurse. Oh, no way. Just missed the net there, and then we just give it to them. There you go. Back up and let him have a free net. That's just how we do things here in Edmonton. So Colorado has scored two goals in this third period. One of which being an own goal by Edmonton. And the other of which being an empty netter. Great. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, at least the empty netter won't count against me. The own goal, that will. But, I mean, I think I'm just going to give up on the 900 save percentage anyway. It's just not going to happen. My main goal... It's just for the squad to make the playoffs. And then maybe when we get to like an 82, 83, then I can start seriously thinking about having that save percentage. But until then, until then, I believe we are just going to let it slide. And whatever, just save percentage, don't even focus on it. I mean, I'll still bring it up, just update on where we're at and whatnot, as if you guys can't see it on the screen already. But yeah, I'm not really going to focus on trying to get it to a certain number per se. Unfortunate game, but it's only one loss. I'm not going to get one of the stars, no way. They only had 29 shots and 5 goals. Great performance from yours, truly. Let's see if James has anything specific to say. If he's just going to give me a generic, oh, let's see if there's volatility let's tonight. Look at the rest of the yeah, no, I'm good. Tonight, and I can't even skip it. The Oilers were so let's the take a look. Take Why not? Uh-huh. Hey, a few more hot button issues we gotta get to. It's a jam packed okay. show tonight. Stick around. That was it? Alright, well, sim to next game. We've got the St. Louis Blues here. And if it's a game worth jumping into, then I'll do it, and then we can just sim four in a row. That's a solid start. 
All right, this one's definitely worth jumping into. A one nothing game in the third period. That is what you like to see. Let's start this one up. They only have one player with an X factor, and that would be Ryan O'Reilly, but they do have some abilities in there. I actually find it pretty funny that it feels like our team has had a hard time scoring recently, and we have Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl on the team. That just immediately right there equals goals, but apparently not. Tarasenko goes to take a shot. And that won't make it through. Crew get the point now. All right. Oh, that was way off target. Oh, boy. I don't like this one bit. No! I tried to smother it. It just didn't do anything. <laughs> TJ just stood there looking at the puck like, what do I do? <laughs> I don't know why he's Patrick Starr all of a sudden, but don't you dare. Don't you dare lose that battle. If they walk out from behind the net, it's game over. They're scoring a goal. It's happening. I am confirming it right here, right now. Insider, it's a goal. That save was dramatic. He came out real far with that slide. But made the stop nonetheless. Got a little bit of zone pressure here. McDavid goes to walk out and their defense are swarming him. Why does it feel like other teams' defense are just so much better than ours? Like, am I just a bad goalie and I'm blaming the defense? But no, because they should have the rebound a lot of the times. And it seems like other teams... Defense are pretty good at that. Ours, on the other hand, not so much. Oh, Nuge is hurt. Will we get an instant replay, perhaps? Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Wow, O'Reilly just drilled him. And he is down for the count. We need a WWE referee here for the 10 count. Okay. Face off to the left of TJ after that big hit. Will we get a draw win? Yes, we do. Darnell Nurse. Okay. Amazing. Coughs it right up. <laughs> we get the draw win cleanly. It's all good. And then he just coughs it up instantly. That's how our defense have been playing, by the way. Yeah? Oh, yeah. That's how you get it out of the zone right there. Yamamoto. He's in. Stops up. He goes back to Barry. Good stuff. I like it. Block our own shot. We really are our own worst enemy. We're getting in our own way. Don't come out to challenge a shot too much, and nothing happens anyway. Dry sidle banks it off the boards to Barry. Oh no. You have got to be kidding me. Fisher. Okay, I'm on an awful angle here. Costin. Oh, that was a wild shot. He tried really picking that top corner, but TJ just got a piece of it. And that will be out of play. All right, well... I mean, so far, so good. Team is playing decent at best. So we're halfway through the third period now. The one goal lead remains. Did it, oh, did I jinx it? Did I say something too soon? No. Still one nothing here. And our team is coughing up the puck like no tomorrow. It is absolutely brutal. Hyman with a good chance, but Bennington will catch that one in the oven mitt. Let's have a look at the bench here, shall we? There you go. We actually got enough time to look left and right there before we cross the road. Okay, draw in the blue zone. Let's get something going here, guys. Come on. Want to win some freaking hockey games. Tori Krug, a blind pass to O'Reilly, who then headmans it to Tara Sank Show. He's going to rip one glove side on me. He's going to rip one glove side. To be fair, it was a great shot. So you remember that whole thing I was saying about it being a one-goal game? Yeah, I lied. It is a two-goal game now. Technically, I was truthing at the time, but now it is a lie. Okay, pass that out to Hyman. Oh, man. Edmonton Oilers, what are we doing? McDavid. He's in. Blind pass from Bouchard. Hyman takes a shot, and the nervous guy... Is going to catch that no problem. Almost as if he wasn't, in fact, nervous. Can we get something going here? We have, debatably, almost not debatably, <laughs> the bible <-bly. laughs> Like, oh, dude, English is tough. Anyway, yeah, we have debatably, but almost not debatably, the best player in the world on our team. And we can't get any offense going whatsoever. And then Dreisaitl's right up there in the whole discussion as well. Just no offense being generated here. Incredible stuff. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Love that. 3 nothing, And we are absolutely poo. 
Robert Thomas, let's- I'm surprised I made a save, honestly. Holy crap, it's a miracle. You mean that one didn't go in the net? I don't believe it. You might want to check the replay. Tarasenko has it behind the net. That is one of the AI's deadliest positions to be in. At least for a human goalie. CPU goalies seem to be able to, you know, manage it just fine. But human goalies, on the other hand, probably just me, in fact. I don't want to generalize here. Uh, just cannot handle it. No way. We're getting all this pressure against, and not a single shot is being put on net. This is immaculate. Falk dishes it off to O'Reilly, who walks... Uh, wow. There you go. Finally on net. I'm actually shocked. Go in front. Thank you, Ennis. Our forward is our best defender right now. He breaks up a cross-crease pass by laying the twig on the ice. Is it that hard? Can we take notes, guys? I know you guys have your little iPads on the bench now. Just open the notes app and, you know, start typing. Nobody's stopping you from doing that. Well, it appears as though we are about to get shut out. Two unfortunate goals from the Blues. One was partially my bad, but it was also just a very good shot from Tarasenko, I got to admit. Uh, maybe I was slightly out of position, but I was like dead center of the net and he was in the slot. So I don't know. I feel like it was just a really good shot. And then the second one was just Plinko. They managed to come out to Robert Thomas, who just sent it home. Um, at least they had 34 shots. So you know what? I still played all right in that one. But their goalie had a 30 save shutout. That is first star material if I've ever seen it. Will I be able to skip it this time? All right, let's take a look at some of the no, I will not. So tonight. let's have a look at some the of the Oilers final scores to tonight. The with the Blues. We St. did do that. Does it always let you get that close to the camera? I kind of don't remember that. Vancouver tore it up on anyway, this and they pick up the two points. Sim up the, the next team. Okay, the so we're against the Bruins here, and we are not in for this one. Do we get a W? We get an overtime loss. That's a point. Attaboy, Pavel. Back-to-back -back games that we are not in for. And there's an L. So we are 15, 13, and 4. Battle of Alberta coming up here. I got to sim four of our games that we're starting. So we can actually get through this season in, like, decent time here. So first period. Nice. Yeah, okay. Nice. All right. That's a, that's a good one. Three stars of the game. There you go. Both goalies played solid in that one. So up to the next game here. We are moving a bit further out west for the Vancouver Canucks. Not in for that one, though. And another loss. Pavel's killing it right now. And by that, I mean killing us. Oh, he's in again. Pavel gets a W. There you go. boy. What do you want, Pratt? Is it that I can't stop a beach ball? If so, how original? Or is it going to be something about the Calder that I can apparently win? Okay, well, you're getting a star answer. Screw you. Whatever. I know you can play better. I saw someone in the comments, so I'm not the only one who is upset about them expecting, you know, basically a shutout every single game. It's just unrealistic expectations. Another conversation, eh? What do you want? What are you doing in my swamp? You're playing the Vancouver Canucks. How important are divisional... Yeah, well, every game's important, is it not? I'm not making you a promise. I will tell you that for free. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let me simulate some hockey. Okay, I'm going to sim two more games here. The Arizona Yotes. First period. Ooh, that's a good start. Darnell. And then we get Goligoski. Some defensive goals here. And then a 3-1 victory. Another solid performance from Tino. 964 save percentage. 27 saves. Very good. I'm a little bit shocked, honestly. An 899 save percentage as well. We're right there. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I just want wins. I just want to win. What do you want, McDusty? To a nearby lake. You're invited. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right, let's go neutral and end that conversation because I'm trying to keep that team... At 2,000, so I can get the X Factor or ability at the end of the year. I think that's how it works anyway. I believe it's by the end of the year. You got to start some storyline or whatever. Uh, Colorado. Are we in for them once again? We are. Let's simulate it. Sim game. 18, 14, and 5 right now. Oh, nice. A 500 save percentage right now. That is amazing. Yeah, even better. Let's go. And they put in Pavel. I'm not even in anymore. Oh, man. Well, my save percentage is definitely down the drain again. And Blumquist, the best goalie in the world, apparently. Like, who is this clown? He's probably, like, 
two overall and is somehow pulling off this stuff. Okay, well, I'll just stop there. Montreal is where we will be starting off in the next video. Be going out east in Canada for that one. And let's have a look at the stats. I got confused for a second. I was going to check the lines. But I'm like, nope, that's at the beginning. So right now, 18, 15, and 5, which is still somehow good enough for first in the division. And we have a game on the second and third place team. Weak division this year. That is putting it lightly. Let's go to the entire league. So we are not in the top 10. We are 13th in the league and first in our division. Wow. What a blessing that our division is just complete poo this year. Tampa Bay first right now by a long shot. 10 points up on the second place Flyers. <laughs> they have 28 wins, 6 losses, and 4 overtime losses. Almost a 79 point percentage. That's pretty good. Goals against per game. They are just murdering everybody. What about goals for per game? Oh, it's right here. Okay, yeah. There's some people that are pretty close to them. So they're just really good at keeping the puck out of the net. Vasilevsky does kind of have that effect. Got to give it to him. Individual players now. McDavid is point a game. 39 and 38. I feel like he's slowed down quite a bit. Dreisaitl seems to have picked it up a little bit. 31 and 38. Uh, the new just played 33 games. I guess he got hurt, right? So maybe he's still out or just came back. But he has 29 and 33. Play RV 25. Okay, I just kind of scroll through now at this point. There you go. Let's see how the goaltenders are doing. Uh, Pavel is actually up to a 906 280. Attaboy. But his record is still horrendous. 5 8 and 2. TJ is uh, 13 10 and 3 with an 895 and a 291. So it's not horrendous. It's, you know, okay. It's acceptable, I would say. And then, well, it's not really acceptable, but at least we're getting some wins, you know? We have a winning record, somehow. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. So, a bit of a, a shaky game there against the Blues, but overall, I'd say we did alright. And the team is still first in the division, because we have the worst division in the world right now. But I'll take it. 13th in the league. And yeah, we've got some more games to play next video. I will see you then.